In my last video, I created a kick-ass 2D player controller inspired by Celeste. If you didn't watch it, go do so now and then come back. It worked out pretty well and feels great, but my original plan was to create a 3D controller, so that's what I'm doing now. Let's go! First step was creating a simple 3D environment. I'm lazy, so I just scoured my 2D environment and added some orange boxes. I created a new script for my 3D character and pretty much copy and pasted my 2D controller script inside. The major difference between a 2D and 3D controller is that we don't use joystick input for the X and Y axis, but instead the X and Z axis. We still use the vertical input from controllers, so I simply rename my Y to Z. I commented or removed any 2D specific code from my script, such as which direction the player is facing. Then just decided it'd be cleaner handling each state as I get to it, so I deleted basically everything to just focus on the walking. I replaced the 2D walk code to use the Z axis. I removed all acceleration for now and just used the raw input. For the look direction, it was as easy as setting my model's transform forward equal to my walk direction. I added a check to ensure if there was no input that frame, I wouldn't set my look direction. This stopped it from snapping back to its default direction when I let go of the key. Alright, first test. Not bad, not bad. I hooked up my camera to follow the player. Feels pretty good so far, but it's very snappy and doesn't have the Celeste acceleration and deacceleration we all love. So I quickly added in a basic system to handle it. You can see it clearly when using extreme values. My 2D jump script worked great without any additional changes. The only thing I had to change for the dash was to execute it on the XZ plane instead of the XY plane. Now, one downside to doing this in 3D is there is no easy way to give the directional freedom you have in the 2D controller. In 2D, your vertical input can be used to direct the dash, but in 3D, you're using the vertical input for character move direction. I'd do something to alleviate this shortcoming a bit later in the video. The wall climbing took a little bit of fiddling from the 2D variant. First, I had to change my wall detection from static left and right to wherever my model was facing. Then, I had to assign my Z input to the character's Y axis while grabbing to allow movement. This looked ridiculous, so I prevented rotation while wall sliding or grabbing, and ensured they were perfectly facing the wall by shooting a ray forwards on the frame we begin to hold the grab to get the wall's normal direction, then set my look direction to the inverse. Next, I wanted to fix how far from the wall the character would sometimes be when grabbing. I did this by checking if I was more than 0.5 units from the wall, and if so, move in closer. Pretty simple stuff. I wanted a way to give more freedom to the dash directions. I was playing with a few ideas, but a member of my Discord suggested I add dash targets. If one is in range when you press dash, it'll set your direction towards the target and dash until it hits its mark. I do this by casting a capsule forward and then choosing the closest one detected. Let's try this out. Okay, that's cool, but not what we want. Well, that works pretty good. It's a little bit clumsy, but with some work, it could turn out nicely. Another day, maybe. Alright, so that's all the states converted to 3D, and it feels pretty responsive. For a real test, I popped over to the Blender to make some tentacles. Then I constructed this weird tentacle monster to chase me around the map, shooting at me. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, leave a like and let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see next. Anyway, let's see how this looks all put together.
I wouldn't say the controller is anywhere close to perfect, but it's about as far as I want to take it at this stage. If you want to look through the code, or play this little level I made here, I left them both in the description. If you enjoyed this quick little video, consider subscribing to see what I get up to next. Taradev signing out.